So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful yellow sunshine. These are conditions for the beautiful game, at least that is how it should be. The backdrop could not be any more idyllic. The players are with us now, the crowd is in in good number and in shirt sleeve order. It is lovely to be able to breathe fresh air without having to wrap oneself up to the gills and simply to uh, turn up and to enjoy a match that matters to so many. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Celta Vigo have opted for a 4-4-2 formation. Well, what I like about this system, Peter, is the way in which both central midfielders have to work in tandem. If one opts to go forward, the other sits, and when one moves either side to snuff out an attack, the other will, will hold the central ground. Communication is obviously vital to make it a success, but this team knows what it's doing, and I think we're going to see that reflected. The action has already started. Upfield. He'll try from distance. An early chance there, first of the game. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. And it's Buffal. Just brushed off the ball there. And he's made sure that that won't get through. And it's Buffal. Buffal gets into some space. Defending was physical, no nonsense, and it had to be. And the through ball is intercepted. Hazard needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, the idea was right, the delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. It's a loose ball. Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. And it's Benzema. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or just getting a runner through the middle now. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Going through. Aimed low and direct. Benzema. Hazard. Benzema. He's gone for it! Oh, surely that deserved better. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Yago Aspas. Neither side yet able to find the net. He's got options out wide. He's in space and looking for options. He's got away. And he's there to hoof it away. You can get that clear. Marcelo gets it back. And he heaves it forward. Forward it goes. Benzema's delivery. Knocks it away. Now it's Azar. Benzema gets it, and now what? Sergio Ramos tries to get it forward quickly. 
Azar. Azar! And the ball's come out. Danger averted for now. And that's been one straight back. Cruz plays it out to the wing. Marcelo could try cutting inside. Up he gets! He's scored! Well, players of his stature just live for moments like that. Another really important contribution as we near half-time, and it can make such an impact on each mindset. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front, and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Real Madrid, and it's half-time here. So there you have it, a club... That's the start of the second half. A solitary goal, that has been the crucial difference. He's left his man. Good clearance and very necessary. Incoming cross. Yago Aspas. Out to the left it goes. That's surely a foul free kick. Gets wrestled off the ball. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And it's Aspas. And it's got through. Is it in? Belts one. Gave it a go, but off target. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. to the flank going through so Jim what are you thinking they're ahead but they're not playing as if they are there seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting them he's one on one has a pop that's gone a long way up and away away from immediate danger and they've got it back as soon as they gave it away could move up a gear here, lobs it in gently to the keeper and go again. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Oh, it's Buffal, he's away. Shot a goal! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Corner. Any better luck this time round? Yago Aspas plays it short. Here it comes. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Looking to get has a swing at it. Goal! They are right back in business. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Celta Vigo grab the equaliser and we're all square. Well, the big question now is whether they can keep the energy levels up and try and grab a winner. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Loose, who's getting there? Cleared without complication. That's pretty clear, it is a foul. So 
probably be looking to play it square from here. So who's he going to be aiming for here? And he just whacks it away. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Around plays it forward, cuts it out. Keeper's got good distance on that. Floats one over. Celta Vigo showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. He'll have a go. He's missed, but not by that far. His reputation is better than what we've just seen. The final whistle. The game chopped.